Uh, so the mechanism on figure 180 is um, fairly simple, but it's only drawing a quarter of an ellipse, ever, we'll model it, as the book I'm using. We'll model it using GX Web. So as usual, we'll start by adding some uh, axes. This mechanism is really just a crank slider. And then a little pantograph style, um, the parallelogram here. So um, first we'll constrain the lengths of these two sides, both to be A, and then we constrain the lengths of these four arms to be B. Sorry, that one became C, that's not what I wanted. And now, this moves up and down. We will constrain its location on the y-axis using the point proportional along the line constraint. In the case of being on the y-axis, that is just the y-coordinate of C. So now this goes up and down. And we can ask for um, the locus. Sorry, I've got two points selected, so the locus doesn't appear. So just one point and I have the locus and I choose the locus with respect to T. Um, I'd like to have it go up a bit further. So let me change the bounds on T. It's going from zero to 13. Let's make it go from zero to, I don't know, 25 maybe. Now it might not get to 25, but it stops before it yeah. So here's the quarter ellipse that this uh, mechanism is going to be capable of drawing. And um, we can find its equation. In um, in the symbolic panel then one could set oneself the the exercise well what's the um what are the foci of this what are the principal axes and so forth um although the principal axes um one could determine uh, geometrically we can see that the length here is going to be a minus 2b and the length of the vertical length. Let's just pull this up. The vertical semi-axis is going to be B. So an exercise would be to confirm that this equation in, in fact has those uh, semi-axes. <clears throat> 